travel all around the country, you'll realize that when it comes to attending college, black women uh, are, are pacing uh, all groups. So what is happening with black men? Let's talk with Clark Atlanta's Associate Vice President of Enrollment Services, Mike Marshall, uh, about that issue in terms of the ability to be able uh, to attract and retain uh, black men. How's it going? Going well, and yourself? All good, all good. So, I mean, obviously you have Spellman here, which yeah. targets black women. Uh, Morehouse target black, targets black men. You, of course, a uh, Coet University. Um, how have you made a point um, uh, for your staff to understand that it can't just be uh, having black women who are coming to the university, that, that really reaching out to say you have to have strong numbers of black men? So for us, uh, it's important to find a balance um, in terms of uh, diversity when it comes to gender, geographic diversity, but in particular with the black males, we have um, actually undertaken an initiative called the uh, CAU Black Male Initiative. And so in February of uh, this year, we actually traveled out to black churches to try to foster a college-going culture among African-American males. So of your 4,000 students here, what is your male-female ratio? So we're at about 70% women, 30% uh, men. Um, and so, again, part of our initiative to try to increase that number is targeting uh, black males, uh, high schools, community-based organizations, um, trying to develop some sort of uh, mentorship programs uh, for, for the students and trying to bring them to campus and get them to understand that, um, you know, you can be successful on a college campus. Uh, oftentimes, you know, uh, many of the programs that we offer uh, for our uh, students focus on uh, women-dominated um, uh, professions. And so for us, we are trying to attract African-American males by meeting them where they are. What do you see as the biggest uh, impediment uh, to being able to get more black men to attend Clark Atlanta or to attend college, period? So for us, getting them to recognize that um, being intelligent um, you know, getting them to realize that um, making the effort, having that work ethic, it's, it's cool. Um, and so I think oftentimes uh, for black men, they are looking at, um, you know, being intelligent is being frowned upon. Um, and so we are trying to double down and get them to realize in order for you to be successful, you need that college education. Also, it's not just looking at academics, it's also looking at those interpersonal skills that can help our young African-American men to be successful. Um, and so, is it just that degree or the certificate alone? No, but it's equipping them with the skills uh, and knowledge that they need to be successful. How are you also um, utilizing uh, your male students here to be able to uh, reach one, teach one? So what we're doing is we have uh, the 100, um, uh, black men uh, organization here at CAU. And so with that, we are trying to develop mentorship programs to connect with the young men and model for them what it, what it means to be uh, successful young black men, as well as with our faculty and staff, mentoring the young black men here uh, to try to make that connection. Have you also, have you also created a very specific uh, media campaign utilizing some of your prominent male uh, uh, graduates and also students here. So that way you're driving that messaging home, uh, let's say, uh, television, radio, social media, whether it's uh, whether it's uh, uh, ads, uh, but also utilizing video and audio. Uh, yes, indeed. And, and to the point I was making, trying to connect with the students where they are. So with m many of our students, they're uh, connecting via social media, uh, via digital campaigns. And so for us, it's not just saying you have to meet face to face, but how can we connect with them? For example, though, um, leveraging some of our uh, alum, um, Kenny Leon, for example, uh, who's helping to connect with, with young men in the community um, as well. All right. So. Well, sounds great. We surely appreciate it. Thanks for joining us. Yes, thank you. All right. Thanks a bunch. Days on TV One. I will never lie to you. Oh, my God. Roland Martin. He doesn't want to talk to us. He wants to ignore us. Uncensored. Hell no. no. That ain't gonna cut it, boo. Unapologetic. No, no, that, that is fundamentally false. You are wrong. Unfiltered. He wants an America where we all look alike. He ain't talking about black people. Unrelenting. You better go work out, because you got a fight on your hands. News One Now with Roland Martin. Weekdays at 7 a.m. on TV One.